16th. Is, is it Hello, we are live. Today is August 16th, and we have... Sabrina is one of us. You know her very well by her voice, and many know her face, but now she's physically in the same window, in the same room. We can touch her. <laughs> look, look, I touch her. <laughs> so her body is with us as well, and she will be hosting in just a second. I want to thank... Um, Gisela for donating the microphone stand and now we have the stand which doesn't block the screen. Oh. So the new microphone stand, a shorter one, especially for our short couch. Oh, nice. And nice. here Sabrina drives the whole thing, invites whoever she wants to invite. I give you the microphone and you drive. Thank you, Max. <laughs> Thank you for that. Hello, everybody. How's everyone Hello, doing? Hello, Sabrina. Hello. Hello, Nitra. Well. Hello, Nitra. Hi, Ian, Caroline. Oh, we That's lost a couple thing. people there oh. somewhere. Oh, yes, we did. They'll come back. Yeah, they'll come they'll, back. They'll come back. We lost a couple people there, but we they probably bounced out. Yes. I think Gabriel was one of them again. <laughs> so I'm, I'm yeah, really I, I accidentally I'm really... removed myself. Oh, oh. okay. <laughs> I'm excited to be here. I had um, a nice visit with Tukur last night, and I just want to tell everybody about that. Um, we just had a conversation, only like three questions, but the rest of the time we were just uh, spending time with each other, and uh, she told me what she does to relax, which I often wonder because um, she has so much to do, and she's always doing. So I, I had wanted to know about that, so she told me about reading and that the, not, it's not only just reading, but you can put emotions into it, you can put like visuals. So I was really excited to hear about the possibility of us getting that someday. Um, and then we, she did a blessing for me and my friend, and then I did a blessing for her. Um, I, she was so happy. I made her purr, which I was excited <laughs> <laughs> to feel her energy around. And I, um, she even cried. Um, I guess it was from the blessing that I did. So I was really, really happy to to see her in a different way, um, and and not so much the the usual, you know, asking questions kind of thing. So it was beautiful. It was supposed to be a short visit, <laughs> <laughs> but but we just got to talking, um, and we really enjoyed that. So, and I thanked her for all of us, for everything that she does for us, for everything that she does for the earth, uh, for helping us, um, because she doesn't ask anything of us, and she's hoping, always willing to help us in any way she can. So That's true. Um, I wanted to acknowledge that with her. Um, and I also, if she shows around, she comes today, I wouldn't mind if, if maybe each one of us said something that she told us that helped us a lot so that she knows that we appreciate all the work that she puts into us. Wow, that's nice. So that was my thinking, if, if to her should... Okay. Happen to show up, but I guess we are open today for to see who who will show up um, <clears throat> and to see what what ideas we want to convey today. Okay, very good. Let's introduce all the people in in the room. Yes, we have Janice here today as well, and Al is here today. So um, we others may come. We don't know. Uh, but uh, we welcome them. Thank you very much for coming. They and are camera shy, so. Yeah. Yes, they're camera shy, so they don't want us to show their faces. So. Soon but. you will have to hire like a place to stay. All the people are going to come every. We'll have, we'll have our. We'll have an auditorium, and yes. <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. But. <laughs> yeah. It's a great thought, though. But uh, I don't know who's coming today. We didn't really talk. Go ahead. No, I, um, 
Did you have anybody you wanted to invite, Max? Yes, but uh, let's let's let it let it drive. Uh, I have so many ideas. Okay, well, your ideas are always welcome. Thank you. So. You, you, you all right. So I had an idea. All right. I, the idea was that our high friends are mostly working on our telepathy and on um, seismology, basically, on health of the planet. And so far, we didn't speak much to people who are really working on the ground. Working on the ground being conscious, alien uh -huh. conscious. Uh, we know that Playella are walking, uh, Yayella are walking, but most of them are hybrids that come here and start, the new, start from scratch. They don't remember their past life. But there are agents, ag agents, agents which, which are conscious. And they uh, work basically on politics, the ones which walk into the offi high offices, well, whoever they are. Yes. And they're a different department. I know they are there, but so far the channelings from these guys are very limited. And, you know, that's stepping into politics, but also it's, it is what matters most. So I, I would invite them today or ever to come through, and I know they have the spokespeople, and they, like, they can't say much, but at least start in the dialogue. They might in, they might not comment on specific political events, but they might at least describe the rules by which they play and you know the mindset and how it's all organized, something which is official. So I would invite those. I think that is important, especially because we get more wars this time. More people are being shot and otherwise so and even more are being suffering from side effects of that. You know, few people get get killed, but lots of other people get into darkness. So, I would I would appreciate speaking to those who are really playing on the ground. Okay, and so we'll we'll let them pick. See yeah, sure, which yes. idea they they want to. Um, I was thinking, um, since we haven't really talked much about that, um, maybe uh, an Arcturian or a Syrian. And mm -hmm. have you had a Syrian come through? Yeah, yeah. Syrians came through. They Sincera. say they Sincera. say that at the moment they are not actively participating. They okay. channel light and love, but they don't actively come and do stuff. And okay. Sentia is our representative. Yes, she is assigned from and Syria. She okay. gave us blessings. Yes. Okay, um, I I want to know a little bit more, um, and we have talked about this about um, in terms of structure when it comes to like the angelic the because uh, like, yeah, can... the Syrians are pretty high up there right yeah they're very light being yeah yeah there there's some and then the Arcturians are also now I don't know which one it's higher I don't I think Arcturians a little they're multi-dimensional that is you know the whole universe is populated but Arcturians are the ones which are actively participating. They are the ones who are making decisions. Arcturian Council is making decisions about Earth. And their active workers here, Gorkvitnir, mostly Yael and Liran, some Lirans and some Pleiadians, and some, what's the name? Race one of uh, reptil friendly yes, reptilians. Friendly reptilians. Lashunda, Lashunda. The Lashunda race. Yes. <laughs> So these are the hands who are doing this stuff, but Arcturians as well. And Syrians are giving help, but through channelings and inspiration and love and like uh, uplifting. Cash. They have technologies, but they are so high, uh, high out there that they don't. But Arcturians are still here. And they're all multidimensional, but they're still here, and they are the ones who say, now, yes, no, delay, approved. I mean, that's, that's the... Okay. And they do it in minutes. It's not like two months of consideration, but you know, some things you reapply and reapply and reapply until they approve. Like this uh, re restoration of the hybridization program on volunteer basis. You know, it took some time for them to approve, but they approved it. So okay. the important things are Arcturians, yes. All right, so, so they had, had they halted the, the hybridization uh, program? The everything is decided by Arcturian Council. I think it was Yael who proposed to halt it in November, and I think that was proposed, and they approved it in around sometime in the winter. I think maybe 
February or so. Because I posted the, the main channelings which were talking about that, so it's, it's on record now. Okay. But, you know, just an example that, you know, Arcturians are, you know, they're all multi-dimensional, but Arcturians are the ones which make decisions, and Syrians are the ones friendly, but they're not part of the Alliance, they're not playing here actively, they passively play here. I see. I see. Okay. okay. And <clears throat> now, the Angelics are not involved. Who oh, Angelics in are working bees of creation outside of dimensions. They are messengers of God, there are nine realms, they are not born, they are made. We are happy to be friendly and visited once in a while by Gahil of third level. And we know a lot about their physiology, but these are outside, they're like network administrators, they're not playing our game, they're outside of realms, but they come here in a way they find most appropriate, so to humans they come in human form, very angelic, but it's very human, it's beautiful. And say for cockroaches, they would come in cockroach form. But you know, there are special the ones which are specialized in humans, they kind of assign that part and they allow to tune in, tune up, change things. Very often people die, like every one of us died, as Bashar said, several times in our lives. And they just replay back rewind back and replay so you survive and continue the timeline because it was occasional non-planned uh, termination and you're supposed to go this path and they have the right to change the laws of physics and replay the time to get it right for this timeline. Wow. So that's what they do and many other things. Yeah, because that, that, that's, that's, I'm not sh that sure about what the, the, the roles they play when it comes when it comes to us, because I know they come and they do things, but sometimes it seems to be a pretty big range of what they're able to do and what they're allowed to do. Um, and the other question I had was whether um, a human ever incarnates into an angel form. Is that possible, or is that realm separate? That is a separate realm. The created. Yeah. Those are created by God. Yeah. Same Metatron did walk the earth. Yeah. Yeah. There's a couple of them that did. Oh yeah. Some of them. Oh, can can angels yeah. incarnate? I don't I think they incarnate, but they come down. Yes, yes they, they can they come can down and. They can come. They they're they're able to do that even though such a high vibration. But they say. Metatron. Oh, that's a design. They're designed to come in and and yes. do things here. It's it's part of. I mean, it's part of the design. They can come in and do things. Yeah, because I, you know, when when uh, Gabriel, Archangel Gabriel, came into me, I wasn't quite sure, because um, he took over the body, but I wasn't quite <laughs> sure what what it was that that he wanted to do. Oh. You know, that's why I'm I'm asking, um, and, and now that you're saying that they can come down. Uh, an important thing for me was to understand that they also play by rules of time. They don't know the future. They still have the same experience as we have in terms of time and they kind of follow the time parallel to what we have. It's a different time but they are not allowed to go in the past and fix the past. They are not allowed to go in the future and fix the future. They are playing in real time as we are. Okay. That is one thing. So they can make mistakes. They have the same sort of experience of learning, they also learn, they have schools for angels. Yes? Good idea. Yeah. Yes. Jen, yes. I, I know a lot about angels. <laughs> Not everything, but I think I've been connected I I since I was a little girl. Um, one thing, because we have free will, we have to invite the angels in. The only time that they can come in without free will is if we're going to die before our time and then they will they will step in to prevent something that shouldn't happen. And uh, I personally believe that we have different exit points, you know, but, you know, that's just my own belief. But, however, we have, if you need help, you have to invite them in. They can only come in without your free will if something is happening where you will die before your, you know, your mission is done, so. They can come yeah. talk to you and give yeah. messages to Exactly, yeah. exactly, but if you want help, you all you have to do is ask, mm -hmm. yeah, and, and they're I there. Yeah, I definitely invite it, I yes. definitely invite it, um, the angelic realm, because I had, um, 
I had um, Ezekiel mm -hmm. and I had Gabriel, but mm -hmm. Gabriel actually came into my body. Wow. Um, and I definitely felt that because it didn't feel like me at I'd all. Like to talk to you more about that later. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, but I didn't, he, the only thing he said was he sat in front of my son and said, love humanity as you love your son. Mm -hmm. Um, that was, that was the only message, uh, <coughs> I, I got at that moment. Um, but that's why I'm, mo I'm very curious, uh, about them and what they're, they're able to do and that kind of thing. So we invite... Um, the entities to come in and I guess mm -hmm. pick pick it's either one of the topics. Probably why when I was driving here because I always give myself healing and I connect with the archangels and they said you've got to ask, you know. So uh -huh. it's probably okay. Yeah, it it wasn't something I dreamed up. I guess I was yes, told. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, exactly. Okay, cool. Okay. One thing about the angels was um, they gave uh, blessings both in English. Uh, in an angelic language, and angelic language is very powerful because it changes things. Well, the blessing given in their language changes things. It's sort of a way they they're very sort of very much like you know in the, in the Bible they do things in a very magical angelic way. They can say blessing and thing is fixed, right? Yeah. So I asked this do if they know angelic language, and this do said no, no. It's for angels to use. If you don't, if you think it's impol impolite and Im improper to even try oh. to learn it. Oh, well, it would be nice if an angel came through. <laughs> it would be exciting, and she likes angels oh, also. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, <clears throat> hello, Mary. Hi, Mary. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good morning, you? everybody. I'm fine, thank you. Hi, everybody. Hi. And so. Sean is there. Oh, Sean. Hi, Sean. Oh, Hello. Sean. Good morning. Good Hi, morning. Sean. Hi. So, well, we have a full house here today. Archangel Michael and his band of mercy came. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. I've only only the angel Gahil has ever come to me yet so far. Yeah. So, and yeah. um, but he's come a few times. But he hasn't been here for a long time, so. I forgot that I had channel my calls. Yeah. <clears throat> Gahil was the only angel that I channeled. Should we start at the channel? Okay. Yes. Um, and everybody have a real positive thoughts and everything's while I channel. And we'll see who comes through, because I have no idea. We've been channel uh, talking and. I don't know, have any clue who's going to come today at all. I ask everybody, so. to occur. Woo-ha. Woo -ha. Namaste. Welcome here, Takur. Yes. I am here only briefly. I heard you speaking about wanting to talk to the ground people. Yes. Those people that are working in government or are working in areas that are just not known to mankind at this time. Yes, those people or those who represent them, like their spokesperson. There are 
at least for aliens in Congress. So, perhaps, one moment please, we can connect them up to this kind of technology. They don't need the trends later, but they do need the assistance to be able to channel into humanity. One moment and we'll see if they are available, or if even one is available. They will not be able to give their name, of course. That makes perfect sense. But they may be able to tell you what is happening. We can tell you it ourselves, but they have a better insight, of course. I will leave now and see if I can contact one. Thank you. Thank you. Woo-ha. <clears throat> Namaste. <laughs> Hello. 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 Um, I can only be a minute with you because um, there's many things going on, of course, as you know, uh, in Congress. But um, uh, let's call me Jerry for now. That isn't my Thank real you. name, but I'll give you something to call me by. But um, let's say that um, you were in Congress and you're seeing what's going on, how many different factions there is on, in how many different beliefs there are systems are going on in there. One thing that has really separated Congress is there's not been a real war. Now, let me explain that. Um, you Back in the day when Congress was very close, they were actually a close-knit group of people that uh, talked across the aisles quite frequently and they, the reason for that was they had similar experiences. The world was smaller. The world was a, a more compact packed place. And they had a war. And they were all veterans in some way or another. Or all had children that were in the war. Or had things in common. Like they, they came from small towns. They weren't, they weren't coming from large cities. And so they talked across the aisle a lot, and so their ideas were much more the same. And in fact, um, their ideas were very similar. In fact, the Democratic Party and the Republican Party were very much the same in, at one point. There was very little difference. You could hardly tell them apart. But now there's a huge rift between our parties, and there's not much talking across the aisles. It's looked at as like uh, a conspiracy or traitors or whatever. And also our leader, I should say leaders, are being uh, helped by aliens. I know that for sure. I know that for sure. Um, and if you look into their eyes, you'll be able to see which ones are being helped because they lose a certain aspect of their facial expression. I won't go into that, but look at Putin. The loss of facial expression completely. He is nothing but a blank piece of paper. Face is nothing but blank. Did you know? Yes. Yes. Well, if you look at some of our congressmen that are being talked to by aliens, reptilians most likely, I cannot be sure, but their face of go blank. Their faces go blank because they are they are giving their energies to that ent entity. They are to agree with this entity is is to say, I'm giving you my energy, and you are giving me your information. So it's a trade off. But I just wanted to come and say that that there can be very little agreement right now in Congress because they are so separated. The Democratic and Republic Party, they're like enemies almost. Um, 
And this is not the way that Congress is supposed to work. Yeah. What, what can we do to help? There's not much you, you can do to help because it is within each individual in the Congress to make up their mind which side of good or right or wrong that they are on and they're driven more by money and power than they are by the conscience of the people. So the consciousness of the people has fallen by the wayside. You used to be able to get a moving letter and it would make a difference right. to somebody's life. Now the secretary reads that letter and does, hardly ever passes it on. So are you able to do anything? I am doing what I can, and I cannot tell you what that is because okay. That's fine. Um, it is actually part of why I am there is to help this situation. There are four of us, we know who we are, that are not all 100% human, let's put it that way. Okay. We are in human looking bodies, but we do not think like humans. We understand humanity now that we've been here a long time, but uh, we've had to come at a very early time in our lives to learn how to move up through the ranks like this. Do you understand? Yes. 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 So we've been here since practically birth, but it, it's difficult to explain how it came about. We do have birth certificates, however, they're... Okay. So are you fully conscious? Would you say? Are you fully conscious? I am fully conscious. So you know your alien part? Yes, I know my alien part. And we communicate uh, often. And it's undistinguishable. There's At this point, there's no way to detect our conversations. Are you telepathic? I am not as telepathic with humans as I am with aliens, but other species, I should say. Um, but I am definitely understanding the telepathy of humans, yes. So, um, in terms of Congress, because I have to say that I used to be very involved before, Yes. Um, but I have given up because it, it all seems like it's frozen and nothing passes and nothing can get through Congress uh, nowadays. <laughs> yes. Um, this is by design. Okay. It is by design of the Congress at this point. They realize what they are doing, but it is a matter of power. You see, if they, if one person were to move across the aisle, which is which happens occasionally, it is seen as an act of traitorism to that party. And so, at this point, whoever has the most the Democrats or the Republicans have the most in Congress is who usually gets their bill passed. But it's so close every time. Every single time. There's very few things, unless it has no consequence uh, hardly at all, that makes it through without a very, very close vote. So do you see any hope of change coming about there? Yes, I do, but I cannot tell you how. Okay. I want to thank you. I recognize your energy, and you helped me about six years ago. Thank you very much. You are quite welcome. <laughs> wow. So what is uh, what are the rules? By which rules are you playing there? Do you have a lot of alien support? Yes, we do have support from the from other species as well as our own, but we have support in the sense that we can at least understand where your where your politics are moving. This is why we are here. We are here to actually gather the information and then help if there is any way possible. So do you, do you use alien technologies to discover secrets? I cannot answer that. Oh. But you possibly could discuss the policies. Like, are you reporting to Georg Fitnier and Arcturians? I'm per reporting to a vast majority of other species. Okay. Uh-huh. Because it is important for those involved, all who are involved, to know exactly what from our perspective within the the Congress and the House of Representatives, there are some in there as well. Okay. That what is actually going on and what needs to be done. There are specific things that need to happen, but 
it, it is a gradual movement. It's not going to be something quick, at least not at this point, because there's a couple fragile issues that cannot have us move quickly with. We cannot move quickly with our actions that would affect the outcome of those action of those things, and that is not a positive. So we have to actually get the agreement yes. of the ones around us. It's not something that we're going to do by ourselves. Yes, of course. I mean, I fully understand. How about the history? You possibly can describe the development. How much aliens were able to influence the politics, say, before 2012? And how much you can do now? And after the open contact, possibly there will be different uh, rules for, for the play on the ground. I can tell you that almost every single president has spoken to an alien in one form or another. Okay. Because it, it was important. Mm -hmm. Even there is documentation of some of these. Yes, yes. I have seen some of that. Uh, but it is important to know that when you were a president or in high authority in any country, for the last several years, many of them have been talked to, unless your country is insignificant and pays no plays no real role in the world economies or in the world finances or the world uh, security, then you will not probably see an alien. But those that do will. Okay. Now how does, how does your job, um, do you, is there any coordination between your job and open contact? No. Not directly, I should say. Yes, of course, they will take our information and t um, integrate that with the information that they already have. But our information is only a portion, a very small portion, of what they need to use for, for a world contact scenario. Do you understand that? Yes. So, yes, in a very off-world kind of way, we are... Um, input is somewhat important but not always what is more important for us is that the things move into alignment so that first contact is a little nicer right. but at this point um, I would say every single person in contract uh, Congress believes in aliens I believe that they believe in not all of them have seen them not all of them think that they're uh, watching the earth a lot of them do but uh, every single one of them believes in aliens because of the information that comes through Congress is impossible to deny do you understand that yes. yes okay so it's impossible for them to say I don't believe in aliens when all the information and proof is right there in front of them pretty much right. but yet that doesn't mean that there's not skeptics. Okay. I, I talked talked with one in the parliament in Sweden recently on the train ride. Yes. And he believed in that. Yes. I'm sure most officials, most people in power, do believe in aliens because there's information that comes to powerful people that does not come down to the uh, regular population. Well, what, what is the balance between positive and negative alien influences on major politics like you there is only four of you collecting information but I'm sure there is many many more like negative aliens popping in and out and speaking to different important figures yes well there's four of us in Congress there's three in the House of Representatives and there's five that work in the White House so um, there's different amounts of energy and information come from different places and I understand what you're saying, but um, there's people everywhere. There has been, in the last several years, much infiltration, in a good way, of uh, aliens to politics. So what limits your influence? Like, like in Russia, there, I, I just have glimpses and negative developments there where a lot of people are suffering, and I assume aliens have a rule of non-interference because it's not as critical, didn't get to the critical point yet. So what are the rules that limit your 
not collection of information, but influence, how the, the alien influence on the politics? Well, it depends on who got there first. Ah. The reptilians got to Russia first. The reptilians control Russia in many ways. And so men in black work there, but outside of the political realm. But the, yet they can affect the political realm with people outside the political realm, if you can understand that. Yes. And therefore, that is the inroads for the good aliens to get through to the hierarchy of that country. But at this point, Putin is hurting his own people. Okay. You go ahead. Oh. Um, how about Latin America, Central and South America? Interesting question. What did you want to know? Um, how are they influenced? Um, and like, there have been a lot of uh, unrest in Venezuela, uh, specifically. Yes. Um, I know some of the other countries are doing slightly better. Um, but Venezuela specifically, I, I wanted to know what your thoughts were on that. Actually, in Venezuela, the aliens are more in industry than politics um, because that's what rules the country. The politics down there can be ruled by the industry and the profit. So they are there to make inroads to political way, in political ways to the government by their influence. So therefore, there are one or two aliens in the government's scenario but it's not as important for first contact that they they they're there the industry there is what's more important okay all right do you the industry here is really controlling our government yes and there are many aliens well, in the on both sides but that i the governments down there are even weaker than ours our government still has a strong stance on many things and the government does push back on some industries and but they do run very many things you're right but down there the industries actually run the country in many ways whereas the industries here influence the government but don't run it why is there so much before there be some moderate people it's so extreme left and right correct there's hardly any middle ground Yes, that is because there's no commonality anymore between the peoples. The Democrats and the Republicans have far different ideas of how the country should be run. Whereas in the past, they had much similar ideas on how the company or how the country should be run. And and how a, con a company even should be run is far differently from a democratic view than it is from a republican view. And it's because the world is not a small place anymore and they've divided and they've become farther and farther apart all the time because they're upset with each other because one is totally ruled by money of course you know what that is and the other is totally ruled by their idealism of what they are who they are representing but they actually don't represent those people no, we, we often but feel we, as, as that the, uh, the companies seem to have more rights these days than us human beings. What is your feeling on that? I feel that they tell people that they have more rights, but they do pay the same prices as everybody else. They pay the same, that they found the loopholes, but you know what? Congress has, and the House of Representatives have uh, blocked some of those loopholes. They filled them in, some of them. Okay. So they are more equal now than they used to be. But you see, they didn't have that much influence 40 years ago as they do today. They strangle the small okay. companies. Though. Yes, they do. Yeah. And that is being worked on. Okay, good. Uh, we will have some people uh, also present back there and want to uh, know if they have any questions. Please be quick. I have a, a meeting to go to. And it is uh, getting close. Okay. It's uh, what is it? What is the time? Uh, yes, forty-five. Yes. yes, I have to be there in fifteen minutes. Okay. But I have to leave here. So, so we thought that the Congress was um, was both the same, the same thing. The both sides were the same thing. Both were controlled by money. Yes. But apparently, it isn't. In, but 
both are controlled by money but in different ways. One is more controlled by personal growth and money and one is more in, for, uh, uh, one is more controlled by its uh, use of the money because it brings them more money. But you see one is more selfish about it than the other. So uh, you said, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. So as Sabrina felt, I think most of all of us feel that it, it, it's no point, it's no use to, to go about it in the political way. We have to find another way. But when um, we hear you speak, we well, that is just, hope, hope so. That is just why we're here. We don't use our poli political ways to make inroads to their politics. Oh. Right. You said a very important thing that um, whoever gets in the country first, which alien force uh, has the right to stay there and others sort of respect that right. So it looks like the earth is divided by influences of various alien alliances and we kind of a battleground of underground, underground battleground. It's of, not a battleground, it, but in the last, oh, decade, alien influences have been much greater than they've ever been before. So would you say that, that being an alien is actually is an advantage, or do you think that it's, it's so bottled up that it's very difficult to do? We don't consider it an advantage. We consider it fortunate, okay. but we don't think of it as an advantage. Perhaps it is, but that's not a good way to look at it. Okay. Um, a good way to look at it is that we're all equal, even aliens and humans are equal, even though we all have different views and ideas and thoughts and intelligence and ways of doing things, but yet we're still spirit down in, all of us. And you have to look at that as the equal equalizer. So we are equal, and so we do not want to take advantage. That is not what we are here for not to take advantage. We are here to make it even more equal, if that makes sense. What are the ways uh, the aliens could, in general, could the politics? One is obviously exposing some hidden secrets, and second is kind of uh, help groups of people to, to get this information, basically, to direct the information, and then finally to influence the making of decisions directly by speaking to people. Let me say it this way. My direct influence on Congress is to find where their mind is at and give them suggestions, perhaps even mental suggestions, of why that is right or wrong and let them discover the truth on their own. I understand for good aliens you are limited by a lot of uh, moral regulations. How about bad aliens? They possibly just walk into the office and sh uh, you know, point the gun into the person and say, you know, if you don't make a decision, you're out. Um, it's not permitted to do that way. It's not permitted. If, if that is being done, it's not known. But they do walk straight in and are very blunt. Does anybody have any questions? Yes, I only have a few minutes. But it has been good to talk to you. I, yes. I, there's so much more to tell, but yeah. uh, there's not really any time. And yes. A very important question is, what is a hierarchy and how the decisions are being made above you? Like, who is... Uh, who could we speak next? Thank you for talking to us, but I, I just wonder, like, you know, who is controlling the policies? Is there an official spokesperson for aliens working on the ground, something like that? There is, uh, but I am not to uh, talk about that. Does the president have a lot of influence on Congress? No. And I'll tell you why. Because it's not because he's black and it's not because he's Democrat or whatever. It's because they're so divided. It's the problem is within themselves. Okay. Um, oh yes, so there are problems with those issues that I mentioned that I said that that wasn't the main issue. But that's not the main issue. Are the, presidents really just puppets because there's somebody else controlling it? That's um, what I feel anyways. In a small sense, they are 
individuals and they can make a lot of decisions. However, there's 15 people who will also tell them what they think before they make a decision. Haiyan brought up a very important point about grassroots movements. A yes. lot is defined by grassroots movements like we are here and one thing you can do is uh, the politics in the top and one thing you, another thing you can do communicating through channelers and otherwise to people down you know outside of the whole political game. What are the alien policies on that? Basically Could you turn that phone off please? Yes. Uh, the question is, you know, how do the aliens coordinate these two very different activities? Very easily. There's two different people coordinating. Um, they, but they are always, always in sync with the plan. There's a plan before that. You, you have to understand, the plans come down far before anything is ever done. Uh -huh. And so if the plan is going awry, then so are the so are the uh, plans that were given. So immediately new plans are given because there's always plan B, plan C, plan D. We look out for every one of these incidences and of course there are always those that we do not find, have not looked out for. However, it goes rather smoothly. But I have to go. Okay. Thank you very so much. Thank you for coming. Nice. You no problem, no problem. A, um, and I uh, will give you back to uh, whoever. Okay. Thank you very much. All right. All right. All right. Yeah. Goodbye. Thank you. Well, uh, goodbye, people. Oh. Hey, Jim. Hi. Hey, Jim. That was interesting. <laughs> I just That's wanted to fun. say that, you know, don't be scared. Uh, you know, <laughs> it's not our main focus to play with the politics. It's nice to be aware how things are and then and, and then um, like be sort of <laughs> independent on that and be with light, focus on light, you know. To walk on the street, you still have to know the rules. That if you step off the uh, of the pay of the walk path to the to the uh, driving path, you can get hurt. So that's sort of education we are getting. We need to understand in which world we are living. But yes, our main focus is enlightenment and spreading of the good news and speaking to higher realms, that sort of thing. But politics, we just have to be aware of that. It kind of knocks on the door and you say, hi, we recognize you're there and go our own way. Not only that, but I think we are living 3D still. Yes. And, and we need to stay informed about what's going on and um, how are they feeling about it, um, mm -hmm. the ET. So I think it was, it was a very good idea. Um, you know, we can't stay focused on that because we have other work to do, but I think it's good for us to know I have some idea what's going on in that in those areas. So mm. yeah, I learned more about politics than I learned in the last few months. I, I it, actively do, I never watch any news, and whatever news I get is mostly from channelers. If Bashar or someone else mentions politics, then I go and research. <laughs> yeah, I used to be involved. I used to write to Congress. I used to be more involved in that, but I finally decided that I. You know, I was I was spending all this energy on this, and nothing it was getting done. So, so I gave it up. I don't watch it anymore, um, and so it was good to to get a, an update on it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, but we don't encourage you. Uh, you know, whatever feel, makes you feel a part of society. Some people feel that they have to be part of their political system and I feel have here my feeling that I have to be part of global consciousness but you know global is my level I don't really want to associate myself with any specific subgroup other than grassroots yeah and, and I think also Max that I think it's important that we start building a parallel uh, to to the the existing governments so that Something else starts to come up. Yes, as that one comes down, because um, 
Yes. I think we're all aware that that's... People holding hands. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. <clears throat> so... I'd like to teach the world to say... <laughs> <laughs> that's what I was thinking of. Yeah. <laughs> Keep going. Keep going. Okay. Continue the discussion. Yeah, and we and we don't want to make the people like working with the negative stuff. We want to encourage them to work positive things. We don't want to get rid of all of them their well, jobs my, and stuff like that. My immediately thought was I didn't even know aliens were allowed to be in our government with their roles. That was my thought mm -hmm. after I. I mean, after he was talking and stuff, I'm going, there's aliens in the government? Yes. I'm going, no, I, that's, it doesn't seem right to me. But, um, but he's, he's still grown up here on Earth. Yeah, he grew up in the they, Earth. They're they allowed to work with Earth from the inside, but not from the outside. Oh, okay, well, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah so it's good. Because they grew up it, with it. All right, okay. That was my question. It was like, whoa, what are aliens doing in our government? Well, you got a feel of what we go through, so. Yeah, I think, and, you know, and so why were the aliens so hard to, why was it so hard for the aliens to speak to us if we had people in the government talking? I mean, people that grew up here talking to them. I don't know the other thing about about open contact because if you have people in the government, you would think that the contact would have happened a lot sooner. But mm -hmm. I guess there are some that are still and there's a lot of fear from the others. I'm sensing fear. Yeah, yeah. yeah. definitely, and definitely. Yeah. And the thing is that a lot of a lot of things will change, mm -hmm. and it might not be in the best interest. So that might be part of it. But for, for resistance, they want to keep the status quo, and they don't want things to get better. So. Right. Well, they they're when it if it's not broke, don't fix it. If they're making lots of money, so right. if they're making lots of money and have lots of power, uh, what are they going to do to change that? <laughs> Stop. So that's one thing to, that you have to consider: is they are in positions of power and they're making a lot of money. So why change anything? So. The, so creates fear. Right. So, so. All right, who do who else do you want to talk to? Hmm. Well, let's see if we can get uh, some maybe an angelic. Oh, uh, and an angelic. Okay. Let's, see. <laughs> let's do a meditation. Yeah. Okay. Let's change the vibration from okay. um, from very low to, to angelic. Um and the best way for doing that is Arcturian yeah. language. Okay. And your drum. I forgot yeah. it. Oh, there's a Lyran on the screen. Who was that? No, Kalash. Kalish. Oh, that's Kalish. Yeah. Oh, that's a Lyran. That's a Lyran. Yes, that's Kalish. Not the one Lyran. that's trying to go through Gabriel. Hello, Jim. Hi. This is Noha. Hi. How? Oh, hi. How are you? At, at last, I could get through. I'm having a bad connection, actually. We hear you fine. Yes, there's wait, two of you. Wait. Oh, there's yeah, one of you. <laughs> it, it goes away. It goes away. Listen, Jim, I have a language. Can you can you identify it? Or yes. I just make it up? Speak it for me. How about that? All right, just a moment. Let me ask one of them who it is. How's... That I've heard that before. She can, she can speak it too. What is that? Me too. Hold on. <laughs> Me too. Hold on one minute and I can find out for you. Anybody? Nobody has volunteered to give me the answer to that. But you know what? I I know that somebody will eventually. So yes, I would 
thank you for sharing that, and I will find out for you. I will. Yeah, I'll get I the will. information to you, Noah. I will definitely get back to you. Okay. As soon as they somebody claims it, I, I'm getting the feeling that it's not nothing from this area. It's it's from be well beyond. So. Yeah. So do we want to go Arcturian? Arctur yeah. yeah, you can do Arcturian now. Okay. So we and can, uh, that'll be a higher resonation right now yes. to uh, get into maybe an, an an angel of some sort. Maybe yes. Gahil will come back. I'm not yes. sure. Let's see. Everybody ready? I believe in you, Sabrina. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> Archangel Michael. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say Totoro? <laughs> um, Taki usi anana nakiatu kutia shakataka to siakanana naka to yiti yukuti kia to skatanana hashi yutu holi akatana naki shiuta towa. Tashi o kotutono hoshi ya ti yuku to la katana haskati halia kataka hoskiti ya tuwa tu la kata shontuku ho la kata yi taskana ti ya suku tuwi ya takaha tasho koto hontuku tuka halia katia Tonkwa tu shiki tio tono no kutuku hos katana naka hala kataka tonku shiki tiru kutu tono kutuko tu sakatatana hali tu ta sakatana naka ti tu naki ta shiataka Tum takasa, tu wanana, ta sakata, tu liyata, ta shaka, tu raka, ta saka, tu waka, ta saka, tu raka, ta saka, tu liyata. I am Gahil, angel from the nine realms. You have called me, but I have no message. You must have a message for me or a question that has great meaning. Yes, um, we are very interested in uh, the angelic realms and um, how your, what is your job with humans and how... I am a messenger, I am a messenger with humans, but I do help in other ways with personal people that need my help at those special times as this young lady has said about helping in times of need when things are not as they should be in the realm. Yes, there will be times when a death may be happening that we can stop because it is not their time. Or an accident that may cause severe damage that they can walk out of without any harm. So this is our message to you is that we come as messengers and helpmates for humanity. That is why we were created. May I ask you a question? Speak. Um, with integrated energy therapy and the heart linking with the angels, is that something that can be done with the aliens too? What can we do to bring more love and glory and communication? Is Should that be done or is that where there is an intention of positivity, there can be some links, yes. 
the very idea that the intention is positive to link to any species who any heart is possible with in good intention, with great thought and foresight. Because when you link to the heart of an angel, that drains some of their energy away for your use at that time, for the use of mankind or whatever the intention is. Do you understand? Yes. So when you link, have a good intention, have a good integrity, have a good reason. What about just love and light? Love and light for the world will happen in its own time. Its movement, we cannot control the earth. We just help it. We can bring it more love, but you must intention it and call it down to you. Okay. Now, I had had um, Gabriel, uh, Archangel Gabriel come Gabriel, in. yes. Yes, he came in to me. Um, I never really knew why he did it. He spoke to your son. Yes. That was his reason. Okay. And for you to hear the message, okay. it was for all. Does, uh, do angels, um, are they able to incarnate? We do not incarnate, but we can come to earth. Okay. We do not incarnate on the earth. We are who we are on the earth. Meaning that if there is an angel on earth, it is in, has still all the properties of an angel if he would choose to call upon those properties. But can live as a human. He has all the same insides and outsides. Okay, now can, because um, I believe uh, Archangel Gabriel had came another time and was helping a friend of mine that she has Alzheimer's. Yes. Um, and I was wondering if, if, are, are angels meant to do that, or was that just a healing in a different way for her? There was an intention, and she had called upon the angels, and therefore they were there to help her. Okay. And she called specifically on Gabriel. Yeah, I love her very much. Could I ask a question about Metatron? Metatron. I, he was an angel. Okay. Was he a human first, or did he come down as an angel, take human form, and then go back into an angel? I've heard both stories, and I'm not sure. He came down as an angel. His human form was more like an angel than you understand. But, yes, on the earth, he acted like a human. And therefore, when he returned to his angelic place, there was not much difference. He just acted and did not do his angelic work, except with human ways. And yes, he came from angel to angel, looking like a human. The only thing that changed was his size. Angels are much taller and larger in every aspect of you than humans are. But he made himself smaller to fit into the human kind. But he still had all his gifts. And he still looked very much the same. He was a beautiful person, as it were, on earth. And most angels look fairly androgynous on the earth. So. Okay. Now I would invite um, people from the others if you guys... Hello. I have a question. Yes, Mary. They are uh, there are four very small angelic forms around yes. me, and yes. um, uh, they are very tr uh, translucent with beautiful different colors. Yes. Uh, are they like they're very small, like baby angels? I call them baby angels. They're are they babies? They're seraphim. 
Seraphim. Seraphim. Angel Seraphim? Yes. There are four of them? Yes. Okay. What, what Are they trying to uh, teach me or um, make me channel them? or? They are not to be channeled, but they are helping you with your energies and your channeling abilities. Let me explain. They're, they have insight to you the way that you think because they've been around you much time. And therefore, they are trying to help you open because they want to actually calm you down. Mm -hmm. You try too hard. Mm -hmm. You sometimes, but you have many, many abilities. They're just relaxing you a bit. Do you feel them relaxing you? Well, actually, when when they when when the energy come through me, yeah, I feel relaxed, but I feel a lot of energy also. Well, yes, but it would be relaxed energy. You need to just relax and let, and that is what they are helping you do with much energy. Yes. I, I, well, I've been told that I have Gabriel around me. Gabriel has Gabriel. Mm -hmm. Have you called Gabriel? Have you called him to him. you? Not completely. He will not, he will not enter you or be a part of your life until you talk to him and ask him to come to you. That is all I can tell you. He may come around you, but there is no reason for him to be there except to, to check on you unless you have called him or someone else has called him to you. I've been told that he's protecting me from uh, if I will be in like a great accident, like an earthquake soon or someplace. I he see. will come before and then someone has sent him to you for protection. Someone has sent him to you for protection because you have not asked for him. And so he will not interact with you personally, but he will be there for your protection because someone has asked him to be there. Now, angels only come if, if we called upon you. Is that... Or if we have a reason? You need to speak. Oh, thank you. Was it Archangel Raphael who was sending all that green energy in through my family room for healing and giving me a message too about what I need to do in my life? One moment. It is Angel Raphael. You, she needed to know that. Yes, if you call an angel, it will come. If you do not call on an angel, it may come, but not be a part of your interaction. I didn't ask. May I ask a question, please? But Before maybe perhaps again? not in this lifetime, but you did call on him in other lifetimes, and that is why this lifetime he is aware of you as well. You. Continue. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Noah. Uh, hello, Angel uh, Gahil. Um, every time I'm going to hang out at Human Colony or at a webinar, my hands get very cold, my right hand side. I'm yeah. assuming I have an angel. Can you tell me who it is, please? Actually, did you call on an angel? I feel it's, it's Gabriel. I have no idea. One moment and I will check for you. Thank you very much. Well appreciate it. Gabriel is with you. However, you have not called him into you, but just to be with you. And that is what he does. And your energy that is cold, he gives off less heat. I cannot explain what is happening with the hands being cold. Anybody else have any questions? Hello, Angel Cahill. Yes. Um, when Caroline. Caroline. Yeah. Hello. 
Um, when people channel, is there a specific angel we could call on um, for protection? You can call on any angel that you would like. Okay, thank you. Any angel is protective. Any angel can give you a message if it's necessary. Any angel can help you in any time of great need. Do not call on angels for small things, but for great things, they are much help. Okay. Anybody else? I have a question. Um, it looks like about six weeks ago, the whole vibration, at least in my world, in my perception of the global world, the dark energies started yeah. Uh, started entering and it was very clear it was miscommunication between the people and separate energies of separation. I think it is important. What is happening? That was a, you have already known about the reptilian attacks. Yes. Well, they are they were much more effective in the last six weeks. However, they have been stopped. Things should start to moderate and come back to normal at least for now until they find another method but it was a method of disorientation feeling anger when you shouldn't feel anger feeling frustrated when you shouldn't feel frustrated feeling depression come upon you that was not even necessary was from an from out of the blue so to speak and you did not understand where it was coming from it just came this is why the Chikani shell came to speak to you. Do you remember the message he gave? Yes. This well, use logic to overcome your depression. Exactly. Use your logic to overcome your depression because it can happen that way. Watch that video if you would like. I have to go now. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you very much. And keep a look. Uh, keep a look. You are invited. Please help Human Colony up there and down here. I will do so. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Much love. Much love. Thank you. And your language was Orion. Wow. Uh, Orion. Oh. There are good Orions and bad Orions. But can you speak more language? Anything, any blessing, just to keep their vibration up. <laughs> okay. Um, Arcturian is. Any, any language you like. Or Laren. Hatuko shia atondo koko shio kutu koko ta shiki atu koko shia toko shiando kutu koko. Han takashiata to waha tagi kian to kwasa katakaha to hatashi ta hataha to ye taskiata nana to waha tio shaka tia la kio kusu ta hatuha ka. Rashanta Kawata Eliambo Kwashwa and Chia Kindi Bumwa Kutia Korata Bosan Chimbi Putia Kukrata Kunda Simtia Kutia Hashu Handu Kuha Hayi Kiki Tu Shiki Tiha Tom Kiki Torata and Concha Shanko Waka Warakuti Funsia Kamuti Mie Hoshiando Kushi Piti Kiho Tahanda Dress Dresseka Ress Tiaha Toshia Tu Tukuho Handi ye Tian Shokoto Koko Handi Hayukoto Hoshi Andukushiata Tata 
tutakara parsham trumpia ayaka karsham pientiakwa wait 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 you speak about many things at once but this is fine I understand that you want to understand the dimensions that you touched upon and the ways that you are going to help the world but those answers cannot be given at this time what I was telling you is that your answers will come with your maturity in your realm and your maturity in your intellectual awareness because there is a intellect within you that has not been awakened yet to the earth side the intellect of understanding the languages that you speak and the places that you go to speak them do you understand yes this was all about you this time, but that is fine. Okay, and and part of and part of going to the fifth dimension was still still intrigues you and still does not feel real. I understand that. It was beautiful. Still does not feel real to you at times. Yes. The curve. Yes. Welcome back. Thank you. Muha. Muha. Diaga. Is there questions? There's someone out there with a question. I have a question. Yes. Hello, it's Akur. It's Nitrous. It's nice to see you. See yeah. you again. Muha. Namaste. Um, yesterday. I was um, with a friend, well, me and Kate, we were uh, talking about um, different people that I'm in contact with, and we came across this being named Delilah, who is an Anubian, a canine being, and um, when, while we were talking, um, she um, said that she missed me and that I gave her a flower and I got a sense of a Egyptian connection with her yes. and that we were together in a past life yes. but for some reason that um, something happened yes. and and that um, I want to get your uh, uh, perspective on that yes there was a disease at the time when you were together in Egypt that had gone through the land and she was affected by it and you lost her but you were together in that time 15 human life passages ago 15 incarnations? 15 human life incarnations ago. But you had some alien incarnations in between. Oh, because um, right now I can feel her around me. I'm not sure if she's in the room with me. Yes. Your energy together was very strong and still remains so. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. I can feel it here, and so can many others. Yes. It moves out, and it's unconditional. That is why others can feel it, because it is an unconditional love she has for you, but she has other love for you as well, but as well as unconditional. But her love is strong and moves interdimensionally and interspatially among you all. Nitrous, did you mm. want to ask about the picture that Caitlin drew? Um, well, oh yeah, that picture. 
Um, <laughs> K- uh, Caitlin drew a picture of a child. Um, oh, hot I'll, I'll send you a I'll send you a telepathic picture of what it looks like. Um, I don't know what species it is or where it came from, but Caitlin just uh, drew it out. I was wondering if you could tell me. Identify the species. Yes. yes. It's nothing it. like nothing like you've ever seen before. One moment. It's adorable. Let me, let me connect with your thoughts. And if you can share your screen, one of you, you can just show it. I can show it, maybe. Yes, I can't put it on my screen. Gabriel, can you so, show it on yours? I'm trying to find a picture again. Well, the way I saw it in my mind, it looked just... Obviously, the drawing is can't even compare to what this little guy looked like. He was adorable. I just wanted to hug him. <laughs> His eyes were just... Yeah, I can show you now. Okay. Mm-hmm. Is it this picture? Yes. Ooh, I need to speak so everybody can see it. Oh, I Otherwise, told you it disappeared. Yeah. You're good now. Uh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he is a gray child. I knew it. Is he? Did, wait, does he have something to do with Lyrians as well? Is he? He is a hybrid child. Okay. Is he? Pegasus child? One moment. Yeah, I don't know about that. No. Okay. Are the hoofs real? Yeah. <laughs> Whose child he is, is he? A hybrid. I cannot say without their permission. Okay. Ah. He is an interesting child and a very joyful creature. Uh, when he looked at you me, a... he seemed shy, though. What did you say? He was, well, he was pretty shy when he was looking at me. But when, when I seen his eyes, it was like looking into a blue galaxy. It was so cute. I know. What did, did you name him? Uh, no name. I knew that you gave him a name. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just... I don't know if it's. I guess I was just doubting myself. I mean, all these these voices I'm hearing in my head. I just I didn't know if it was real. And that is not exactly how he looks, but that is close. The face is very close. Uh, uh, let me send him a little present, a mental image. My dog, one of my uh, a younger dog of mine, loves pools of mud. Whenever she sees a pool of mud, she would jump in it and lay down and drink from the mud and look around very happily and proudly. That's a present, a mental present I send to him. I do not understand, but <laughs> thank you very much. Oh my gosh. I, it is a present of mud. Uh-huh. Yes. <laughs> and of confidence in the mud. Yes. yes, and freedom. Ah, perhaps that is more the message than any of the others. Yes. Black, freedom Black can be in the mud if you wish. Yes. I choose not to be. <laughs> can you remove the marker on me? If you I did, I did. Those are, there are those that would choose the mud over many things. Takar. Yes. Uh, were I going to have a Liran counterpart for the Liran language? Or? Yes. You will have many friends in this. Do not worry. Things will happen in their own time. And you will have many friends in many, many species. Yeah. Do you have any message for me? Ah, I wanted to ask you something, though. How are you feeling? Did you feel the orb reactivate? No, I've been a little bit more positive. 
the orb is almost completely active now. But the reason you probably didn't feel it is because it went a little at a time, instead of being totally on when it entered like the last time. But yes, it is going to help you quite a bit now. Yeah. So for Al wanted to know if he's ever visited the colony. Of course. More than once? Yes. Okay. There you go. He is aware of it. <laughs> he is aware that he has been there. He actually was not quite sure that it was what he thought, but he was there. And he does know that he was there. Do you want to speak? Do you want to ask more questions? No. All right. Was it one or...? He was in Colony 1 and 3. Okay. But more in Colony 1, more times. Okay. The Colony 3 was a curiosity of his. He had, since he has mm -hmm. some abilities in Colony 3, they had asked him to write something for him. Oh, interesting. <laughs> so he's also visiting. Now that's my friend, guys. He had that question. Very good. Who else has a question? Hey, Claire, I have a question, please. Yes. Um, do you have a second the hybrid uh, female the child? Yes. Um, hello, Tucker. It's nice to talk to you again. Um, no. Yes, there uh, is. Hold on. Wait, oh. No, hello first. And, um, oh, oh, sorry, sorry. Chen, Chen goes. I have two, goes. I have two questions, please. Uh, yes. Can I Can you go? Okay. No, ha. Chen and then Pegasus. Noha. Noha, continue. Is she there? Noha? Uh -huh. We see you. Noha. I know she, she's having problems, so she might be. All right, Noha is disconnected. You, go, you okay. come next when you are ready. Okay. So, Chen, okay. 777. Curry Chin. Yeah, Curry Chin, yes. Curry. Unmute yourself, Chin. Unmute yourself. Still muted. Chin. Okay, who else <laughs> has a question? Then, okay, strange. Pegasus, then your turn. Okay, can you guys hear me? Yes, you're good. Yes. Okay, um, I had two questions. Um, the, uh, the one was about the uh, hybrid children. Um, I was thinking about it yesterday for like three days and um, it, what I was thinking about well it actually made me kind of sad like um, that I have all these hybrid children yet I never well uh, interacted with them well that, as, as far as I can remember I never interacted with them I never was with them I know I can communicate with them telepathically and astrally you will but I was thinking you will be able to you will at some time be able to be with them. But you must understand that first contact has not happened yet. And there are th some things that are forbidden until then. But you can be with your child in an astral projection if you choose to be so. That, in fact, I believe you have been with two of them, but you probably do not remember. But yes, no, I was, yes. Like, um, uh, I was getting to that. Um, I was getting to um, um, what's the point of interacting with them if I don't remember the experience? If I don't, ha if I don't remember yeah. the joy of being with them? You do remember the joy. It's all in your subconscious, which will be brought out of, again, and it will make you much mm -hmm. happier. But for now, you must remain in the state that you are in for some reason which I cannot reveal. So, Tucker, would that be true for everyone if they want to speak to the child? They can really Not for them? everyone, but for most, yes. Um, my second question was about with me and um, Delilah. You said the energy, the love between us was strong and that others can feel it. Yes. Oh, 
um, do we have any children? Yes. Hybrid children? Yes. Oh. But they are only recent. Let her speak to you about it. Sanaida and, and uh, Sean, do you guys have any questions? Hello, everybody. Yeah. I'm so happy being here, co creating with all together. Indeed. Very, very happy. <laughs> um, very yeah, I love you, Tucker. <laughs> Uh, can I be there physically in the colony? This is going to happen in the near future. I have mentioned that everyone's implant is being upgraded so that they can come to the colony by transport instead of just spiritually. But you will be in real time, so this is very much more tricky, and I will tell you why because you will not be appearing on Earth if you appear in the colony. And so you will have to choose a time when you know that there is no chance that people will miss you. Uh -huh. It is in real time, and you will only be able to stay an hour or two, but it will be m definitely memorable. But this is the only way that we can bring you back with full memory because we do not have to implant any thoughts in your head for your return. Do you understand? Yes, of course. Because only a couple hours you will be able to resume your life as it was two hours ago. But when you go up five days in spirit, it is hard to reclaim your, the moment that you left. So that moment must be replanted in you. Yes. Are we? Yes. Uh, do you work on us to remember every time that we're in a colony? We do not work on you to remember. If you remember, it is to be. If you do not remember, it's not to be. We cannot force a memory. We uh -huh. could, but it, it has not been approved. It has not been approved to force your memory. That could be harmful also. I understand. So the colony is open, and am I going there now? Yes, you are. You've only been there once. There's been some things that have been happening that have caused you not to go at times, but you have been to colony one once since it has reopened. You will go again. Thank you. Love you. Sean, do you have any questions? Uh, yes. Uh, hello, Tucker. I just want to say my love for you. And oh, how much love, Sean. And uh, I tell my... You talk to me every now and then. I like that. Yes, I felt like I uh, got a telepathic message from you after yeah. the webinar. Is this true? Yes. And uh, I just sent you what a message because you did speak directly to me. And was it to do with the where I'm going in the Connollys? Yes. And. Uh, that was not all of the message. I do not. Did you receive it all? Uh, no, I didn't receive it all. I just got told that I was going to the telepathic uh, area in the colonies, and that's all the message I got. Ah, there was a little more to it, but perhaps you didn't pick it up yet. Perhaps it will come to you later. It is still there for you to perceive. And I have an other question. Did you visit me in my dream state? I have done so, but only when you were at the colonies, it seemed like a dream state. So in that respect, yes. Have I been to the colonies within the past week? Yes. 
Yes, I remember the day of being there then. Very good. How many remember the crystal room? No. One person wrote a post about that on the site. I remember it. There is others that remember it as well. I. No, Jim does. I remember the crystal room as Jim. Yes, that was him that spoke. How how big was the crystal that I, I was holding? From Gabriel? You were holding a large purple crystal. Yeah, I thought it was large, and it was having lights yes. to some degree. No, had two had two more questions. Um, I don't know if she can yeah. speak, but um, Caroline, can you read them for her? Okay. Um, the first question for Noha, she wanted to know if she has a second daughter. I'm guessing hybrid daughter. Not at this time, but there will be other children from her. Okay. Um, she has another question. She's got um, a skin patch on her left elbow. She wanted to know if it's to do with an implant. The skin patch is from an irritation. It does not have to do with an implant. However, the second child that she feels in her is a past life child. She does feel a second entity, and she thought perhaps it was an alien hybrid child. But Noha, it is a past life child that has come to greet you in some way. As a spirit. As a spirit. Ah. I have an interesting. Thank you, thank you. Well appreciated. Oh, there she is. <laughs> did you did you feel the second? Did you feel? I do the... feel. I do feel very much. That's why I'm asking the question. Ah and yes. I, and I also have a name for her too. <laughs> she already has a name. However, you can give her any name that you would like. She is a spirit. She is not a hybrid child. Actually, I have a, I feel a lot of entities around me. Yes. Can you there is a lot me? of energy around you, and there is reasons for that. Your visit, next visit to the colonies, will be a very good one. And I'll remember, please. I did not understand. I need to remember. Ah, if it is meant to be, you will remember. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Curry, curry chin, uh, curry is it back? Curry chin. Is he there? Speak if you can. Yeah. If you cannot speak, yes, go ahead. Oh, yeah, yeah, thanks, Max. Yeah, hello, Turkey. Yeah, uh, well, last time you told me that I have been to the human colony 3. Yes. E3. Yes. What did I do there? you talk to the people running the cameras because you have you are from China and, uh, yeah. and there are few of you from China that would wish to speak to human colony and they needed your input okay okay thank you yes you are important your your input was very important <laughs> well, do you have another question? The the the, the movie from Beyond the, does that have Chinese version? I did not understand. Well, mm, movie from Beyond yes. does oh. it yeah. have a Chinese version? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chinese it version. does, and and it is still running. It is an alien figure speaking. There is only one video that still exists on Earth, and it is in the Chinese language. Wow, well, well, thank you, thank you. What is the keyword? How to find it? From beyond. Maybe you can find it and let us know. 
Yes, download it immediately and then share. <laughs> yes, I, I won't find it. But, uh, it will be I of an alien speaking to Earth in an English language. Well, okay. that will be translated for you. Kurichin, how do you speak in Chinese from beyond? How do you say in Chinese from beyond? Oh, like, uh, Nature's long finger. Was that close? I usually pick up languages fairly quickly. Uh, it, it pronounced like light to Yes, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> in, in Chinese, light to Nice is love. Yeah, from beyond. Lai Zi Wai. So Google, Google for it and if you find it, download and upload again and share with us. Yes, thank you. I want to find it, but I don't find it. I tried. Ah. Perhaps we need to put it somewhere it would be easier to find. Uh, it's easier to give a unique number identifier, which then you can channel to us, like three five 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 seven five, and that would be a unique number, which is very easy to give over channeling, and then we will search and download it. The only problem with that is everyone in the government can search and download it faster than you. Right. Uh, but if, if okay. you have the number first, yes, and then and then download it, the whole group. Downloaded the video, and then we could spread it. I see. Yeah. Let me pass that through. Yes. Yeah, because that's harder because we all have a copy, so we can all the put it out. Yeah. Continue. Yes. Uh, I know Gabriel has questions, and uh, just forward the line, whoever has questions. Oh, okay. I have one. Oh, good. Okay. Um, I had this dream last night that I was in, in uh, we were in Jim's room, and he turned into a cat, mm. and there was another cat there, and, and they started speaking Lyran to each other. Interesting. And then I was like, I shifted to another reality, and I don't know how to get out of this. <laughs> Did you eat tuna before you went to bed? No. <laughs> oh my god. And then I was like, what am I going to do now? So I decided I'll speak Lyran and sneak out slowly. Ah. Uh, <laughs> so that's it was just an um, interesting dream. Yes. It had no meaning as far as I can tell. Okay. But um, it was definitely amusing. Yes, it was because he was talking about the faucet not working in Lyra. <laughs> <laughs> so. Understood. <laughs> you make me, you make me purr. <laughs> I'm jealous of that dream, Sabrina. I Sabrina. love cats. She do go rashondobo. <laughs> Did you pet the kitties? <laughs> no, I just let them talk to each other. Ah, they were talking to each other. So. Yes. Who is next? Yes. Wuha. Wuha. I had uh, my implant in my left leg started moving yesterday, I think. Ah. Is that true? Let me check. I am not... Tepe takes care of... Tepe, I should say. Takes care of the implants. I will check with him. <coughs> oh, uh, yes. They were not getting clear readings from it, so they did adjust it. Because I felt it moving a lot. Yes. It is fine now. And I still have a market when they implanted it. Oops. Yeah. Speaking of Tepet, Tukar, I have, um, she told me to 
Uh, no. I don't know how I was feeling. Um, I still have swelling, so. Ah. We will discuss that later. Okay. Tucker. What? What does oops mean? Oops. What does oops mean? It means uh, I made a mistake, which is a minor one, and I kind of recognize it. I recognize my mistake. Jim said oops. Almost forgot also. It can also mean almost forgot. Okay. Almost forgot. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. I have a question before but before I ask that to Kerr, you must know that we all love you very much and we appreciate what you do for our earth. So Thank please you. remember that and we appreciate you answering our questions and doing so much for us and helping with the colony. So please remember that. We love you so much. Yes, Thank yes, you. yes, yes for that. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Thank you very yes, much. Yes, we do, we do, we do. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I know this. Know that Takur loves all of you as well. <laughs> I send out my energy to you daily. Yes. I like sharing your messages. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> continue with your questions. All right. Um, so my question was. Um, Am I channeling? You are not aware of it all the time, but you do channel some. I will give you some instructions about how to connect better. Okay. Whenever you realize that you are channeling, you stop. Mm -hmm. And the reason is, is because you do not believe that you are channeling, but you are. Uh. So okay. you have to let it continue, because as soon as you doubt yourself, it will stop. You are, for in your particular case, now, you will be able to continue, and then later, even if you doubt, it will still come. But at this point, you cannot doubt. But it is happening. Yes. Let me say one more thing to this, Caitlin. Do not doubt yourself. There are many aliens around you. You see many things. You experience many things that are unhuman. So therefore, do not doubt this. You have so many other proofs. Tucker, my implant. I have had a lot of problem with that one. Would you prefer that it be removed? We can talk with, about that later, probably. Oh, yes. I may ask a question. Is there anybody else in the line? Um, I had one. Go ahead. Yes. Um, well, um, the one that I wanted to say is, um, last week you said that you you believe that I would be one of the first to uh, physically mate with a Lyran. My first off, what um, uh, what made you uh, come to that? And my and my short second was about uh, one of the YouTube videos on uh, Hukalo about the hybridization, how you talked about um, curriculums and celebrations that children cannot go to. I want to know what exactly do you do in those is my second question. I did not remember that I spoke about that, but um, what was the else. first? You took my mind away with the second question. What was the first question? The first one was about what you told me last week when you said that you believed that I would be one of the first to um, physically mate with a Lyran because of the hybridization that was going on as you studied human oh, DNA. Yes. The reason for that is that you are actually physically attracted to Lyrans. And you, this has been proven through our science and through your thought patterns. And your thought patterns right now are very Lyran in many ways. And therefore, you would be most likely to mate with a Lyran. 
no, and it wouldn't be very difficult for you at all. Does my older child have any um, alien DNA? A little, but not as much. Well, well, I take that back. I will talk to you about that later. Okay. But the second question for you is, yes, there are things, there are some rituals in Lyran for adults only, and, and it's not because it, they're, they're inappropriate. It's just because it's not the right time for the child to be involved. It's not the right age for them to be coming into this kind of knowledge. And, and there is some physicality to it, but it is not of a sexual nature or anything of that nature. <laughs> but it's just not for the child at that time. Do you understand? I understand. And so, yes, they are not brought to some ceremonies and celebrations because there are some things that they do not need to know quite yet. And as they develop, we will let them learn and let them discover things and give them special opportunities in as these celebrations do. And then the awakens other awarenesses within them. Yes. Thank you. Tikar, I got yeah. a new language. I would like to know um, which species are they? Yes. That sounds insectoid to me. Uh -huh. Thank you. Yes, it is a little more chattery, but that is the language. Click your tongue when you're doing the... But the language, the words are there, but there is a clung, tongue click in there a couple places. Ah, there you've got it. Okay, thank you. Wow. Is it, um, I wanted to ask a question about uh, my alien Pleiadian self, Fiona. Yes. I seem to have a glimpse into her. I invited her and I saw a young, way taller girl, maybe corresponding to maybe human 18 or 20 years old, with either greenish or brownish skin and orange, short orange hair. Would it be her? Very close. I'm sending her an image. Uh, that would be a symbol of friendship, ascension, and unity. Yes. She will receive it. Thank you. I will make sure of it. Well, it is time. I will leave you with a blessing. Thank you. Because you have been so kind. And this has been a wonderful experience for me today and yesterday with Sabrina. Mokwa Shantramaya Elekoda Wotaha Shantiku Twam Mukwa Handa Shotra Tiarandi Karawandi Sambohosa Ta Tariabakoa. Orando Borsa Kakua Lights bright for seeing, for looking, for feeling, for energy, for enlightenment. Use the light in all ways that it can be given to you. 
Use the light in all ways that it can be accepted into your body and into your society and into your beings as your spirit grows, your light is growing also. Be part of what you feel. Be part of what it is around you because light causes vision. Light causes joy. Light causes enlightened mind. Thank you. You are welcome, and yes, your experience as a leer in the human will be fulfilled eventually. Which is to say that I believe that you will be at the forefront of the Lyran movement on earth. Because there will be an, a movement for those that speak Lyran, and I'll tell you why. Because it will become a common language on your planet eventually. The sea auto Yes. It will be a great honor for you, yes. <laughs> Thank you. That will be highest excitement, I know that. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, dear. <laughs> and also, the Lirin man. His Lyran dreams will come true as well. Uta kashanto pora to komoto hear me buka. Korara shonka. To I will go now. Thank you. Muha. Muha. Namaste. Much love, Dicker. Much love. Much love. Love you. Namaste. Namaste. Welcome back. Hey. Hi, Jim. Hey. Your <laughs> water. Yeah. Did I spill it? No. no. Yay. Welcome back, Jim. Yay. Hi. 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 Now you can hug Sabrina. Yes. <laughs> I can hug Sabrina. Yes. <laughs> you should We've take a We've had a wonderful you. time. We've had a wonderful time of uh, together, all of us here. So. It's been really great. Um, I have a house full of really positive energy because that's the way I want it. So. <laughs> yes, so. and like Gabriel says, Sabrina just laughs. <laughs>, <laughs> Sabrina laughs a lot. That's good. Yes. It's a good thing. Yes. <laughs> yes, it's a sign of high high vibration to be joyful and laughing. Yeah, so. you can only say, Sabrina, start laughing. <laughs> 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 Very good. All well. right, Jim is offering private channeling sessions. Uh, you know how to uh, reserve them. Uh, there is a menu, Jim, on the left on the humancolony.org site, and uh, he has some open open uh, times. Contact him, and you can get a lot more in a private session. You can speak about health, family. Yeah, pretty much everything. Pretty much everything. Pretty much everything. Your everything spiritual part. A lot of uh, spiritual things cannot be said in public. So, you know, the the spirits and the aliens, uh, they they have to limit what they say publicly. Yes. So the the private sessions are are for that. 
I know that by experience. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yes. Yeah, so. um, yeah, the private sessions are, are a little different. They, um, they're they more personal, much right. more personal. Much more personal. You can ask all the questions you want. Mm -hmm. You might not get all of them answered, but you can ask all the questions you want. And I think they normally work around and try and help you as best they can. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can invite uh, your higher self to speak, your hybrid children to speak. A lot of things can be done. Yes. You must also start that. I never, I never try that, Max. Yeah, the higher self. Some people get the higher self. Wow. You know, I know the name of all my spirit guides, but not the name of my higher self. I don't know the his name. The higher self has a name. Yeah. I never knew that. I, yeah. yeah, he has a name. Hi, guys. Name? I thought it was a guy. Elena, I can't hear you. You're breaking up. Yeah, I have a bad connection. Just wanted to say hi and. Well, hello. We love you. You're great, Ellie. Yes, Ellie. You've done so much. Thank you. Hi, Ellie. I think, I think she's, she's broken up. Yeah. yeah. She broke up. I'm Anybody sorry. Anybody wants to speak about anything? Yeah. Um. I'm wondering if anyone's spoken to Lakesh lately, or is he being reprimanded again? I haven't heard him for ages. Oh, I don't know. No, I don't. I don't think he's being reprimanded. Uh, he would have told me if he was, but he might be busy with his granddaughter. She's at one of those. I think they had a that the first celebration for the granddaughter is like really, really big. So yeah. he probably had a lot of stuff to do. I think it's more that we've been asking questions that require more of to occur. Yeah, I think so too. Because you've been calling any questions and stuff like that. And plus, he has a tendency to uh, make a mistake here and there. So, uh, Lakesh is great for general question. Uh, one, th one reason he is great is he is not part of Gurk. Years. So he, is, he is not that bad. Uh, he, uh, his civilization is very united. They're looking anywhere. They're very inquisitive. They want to look at all other civilizations. And they have a unique outlook. Yes. And also they're all celeb ce celebrating. And that kind of gives a very light-minded uh, outlook at the universe. Not only that, he's also very good at pers when you have personal yes. uh, problems. I think. I think Lakesh is very good at helping you with that. And he knows people. Yes. Yeah, that's, that's what I was wondering if he'd come through on any um, any private channelings lately. Okay. Yes, he has. Oh, okay. Uh, but not this last week, but the week before. Yeah, I, I spoke with him. I yeah. Spoke with Lakesh. Oh, okay. Peter says hi. Oh, hi, Peter. I felt him here. <laughs> Peter says hi to her. Hey, Peter. Huh? Is our friend who departed recently? But all of a sudden, he just said hi. He said, "Tell Janet." So I said, "Hi." Oh, now finally, I saw. Yeah, there's a that story with Peter. Yeah. Yes. yes. Oh, you the a... with the bracelet. <laughs> okay, now I know. See, yeah. Now, now you said. Now do you want to tell the story? Like can, Did you, can you tell the story of the bracelet? Oh my God. Okay. Janice. Hi. Hi, everyone. Um, the first time I went to one of the channelings, it was in July. My friend Carl and I sat right in front of Jim, and when Lakesh La La yeah. La came through, he started talking about jewelry. And I have some bracelets, in particular, bracelets. So. I have a bunch of bracelets on my right wrist and the one that has all different color tourmaline on, all of a sudden my wrist and my arm was buzzing and I'm shaking and then I felt the brace, the one thick bracelet, the tourmaline was hot, I'd have to take it off and I put it back on and I'm thinking, Lakesh wants my jewelry, you know, it's like he's not going to get it and I could feel my friend Peter here too, well, um, my friend Carl and I went out to dinner afterwards and we took the brace I took the bracelet off. It was boiling hot. She cleared it, but there was one spot that kept coming back. So I wasn't able to wear it for a while. 
I came the next week over to Jim's, and Jim, and I, I knew there was something about the chakra on the inside of my right wrist, but I didn't know what was going on. So um, Peter has been sending me healing through the bracelet, but he had to tone it down because I just I couldn't tolerate it. So that you know, and whenever I hear like cash, I keep thinking, oh my God, I gotta watch my jewelry. Is my jewelry <laughs> gonna go missing? <laughs> I'm too attached to let this go. So, yeah, yeah I, I wonder if Lakesh could actually take a piece of jewelry, like if we well, all have him something. I didn't want to leave it outside to charge it after I cleaned it because I thought maybe a squirrel would take it. Yeah. The deck, and I think it was Lakesh. <laughs> yes, actually, I have a piece of jewelry for Lakesh if he ever shows up. So oh, he hasn't okay. taken it. Okay. Is Peter still there? Uh, Peter, how are you up there? Um, uh, just a minute. Hold on. I don't know. He just it just came through. Peter says hi. That's why he doesn't have to enter in your body. I just wondered how he's here. Um, he's happy. He's he's totally healed. He's well. He understands more than he ever understood before, and that he he owed some people some apologies, but he's he said they understand that he didn't know that he was doing anything wrong. So. Why did he leave so early? It w it was meant to be. It was meant to be. Is there any business there to do right now? That's why he it left. It was meant to be because there was something coming up. In if he would have continued to live, there would there would have been more sorrow than happiness, and so he chose to leave then. Is he still doing Reiki up up there? Oh yeah. Oh yes, for sure. How did he like his? His uh, ignition to holy fire Karuna, because I brought him with me this time. Yes, he, and he got he was there. <laughs> he felt a lot of energy, and he sent it back to you. Everything that he felt, he sent back to you. I know that. Yeah. Everything he felt, he sent back to you. Everything that he saw, he sent back to you. And your memories will be crisp of these things. I was Peter's mother in a previous life too. Ah. That's why we're so so mm -hmm. connected. Yeah, they're mother. very very connected. Very connected, and um, it's it's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. So thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. But he just happened to say hi. So and he is still here. Yes. Yeah, I feel. You can. She can feel. Yeah. Lakesh La talked about your jewelry you were going to give him. Oh, he did. In oh. and he said that. He did not want you to tell your story about the Euler before he gets it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and they won't allow Lakesh to go holographically to the colony yet. Oh, yes. They won't the let him get it. But, but you know what? They, they will let him eventually. I know they will. Yeah. But they're not off their planet yet. They're not traveling off planet yet. Just in yeah. channeling such things. Yeah. But they can... Do holographic huh? jewelry, I think. Yes, I have a piece of jewelry for him, and I'll tell him the story behind it, and um, then he can but, share it with his but, planet. But I think that Lakesha tends to want to share everything in a sense. Yes. So you, if he goes to the colonies, they yes. can't stop him from doing that. <laughs> Lakesh wants to share literally, literally. Everything about himself with everybody, and he wants everybody to be the same way with him. They wanted he wants them to share their most deepest, darkest secrets. Open he, book, I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. Saying yeah. yeah he he's because that's the way he is. He doesn't. He he. I don't think he really keeps any secrets from anybody on that planet. I really don't. So if they want to know something, they'll tell, they don't tell them. Do they share everything in his planet? Like no, not not everybody, but Lakesh is one that does share literally everything, and he wants to share that with everybody here too. They don't have privacy, but they have different layers of society and privileges and yeah. celebrations. Yes. Okay. It's an interesting society. They have caste system. Mm -hmm. So whatever we tell Lakesh, his whole society knows. <laughs> yes, but not. Not necessarily. If they are not interested, they wouldn't pay attention. Right. Exactly. They are very, they, 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 these people are sort of. They are not 
very attentive, you know, not the whole civilization listens. Like, when you speak to grays, it's more, like, transparent, but uh, Blackish's blues are not as attentive to what is. What is interesting to them, they would have a chance to yes, to right. link in and, and get it right away. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Some of the questions. Some, a question for the audience. Some of the questions that you asked and what was answered had meaning to me too. Does everybody else find that too? That not only your questions that are answered, but you know, in, in generality, some of the things you know have yes. meaning to all of you too. Yes. And oh, thank yeah. you. <laughs> Hello. Uh, the audience says a question to you. That was a question to the audience out there. Hello. <laughs> She said uh, a lot of the questions you ask, the answers have meaning for her as well. Do you feel that way too? <clears throat> Laini and Zina. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I'd have to listen to yeah. listen back to some of it actually, because um, some of it I was like really, really interested. In it. I probably missed some of it, but yeah. I would yeah. say the audience. We are we have so many hours together. We know what's interesting to others, and when we yeah. speak, we. You know, we are speaking for everybody and ask questions which would be good for everybody. Exactly, yeah. Max. And we're, yes. no, we're no, no longer uh, individuals left alone. We are together, expanding together. Wow, beautiful. And what, whatever problem anybody has, I love that. I we love have that. positive yes. help. Yeah. <clears throat> and now we are taking a little break and we'll continue. What time we continue? 3.30. Three thirty. So now it's 12.20 in well, three hours. That's the channeling training. The channeling, yes. The channeling workshop. training workshop is at 3.30. So. And now the voluntary uh, suggested donation is $8. Go to this donate button and donate it. And uh, it, nobody limits you from donating more. And uh, for the channeling class, it's not voluntary. It's everybody who participates has to press this button and donate $20 for participation. And this would be only for those who pay. And this is the first time we do. Yeah, and it's already set, so we already know who's, who's oh, coming. So there's no That's more right. space. There's right. no more space. Remember this, though. If you don't have any money, you don't have to donate. That's not That's not why we're asking for the donations. The donation is for uh, equalization, for the knowledge, for the yeah. for you give something, we give something. And if you don't have anything to give right now, a play it forward by doing a good deed for someone else. That's what this is all about. The 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 passing on of uh, the donation is for the help that you've received. You can give something back, and it equals it, it equals it out and makes it right. So yeah. it's and the energy this, transfer. And, and, it's an energy transfer. And Jim would be eternally grateful if you do make a donation for him. <laughs> yes. Great. But uh, that is not necessary if you don't have it. So the logistics we need to repeat. Uh, there will be no uh, no link for participation on the on the website. The people who subscribe will get it by email. Yeah, yeah. So people who register will get it by email. Because we were trying to keep it limited so that he could help everybody. Yes. That was so, the idea. Yeah. And I, I, would, uh, I, I would create a circle for all the partition for the Google Hangout okay. with only those people. Thank you. Thank you, Gabriel. Yeah, you have the list, right, because I posted it? Yeah. Okay. Okay, there's eight people. Yeah. Eight right. people. Uh, is or, the workshop going to be on, on air? Can we watch it later? Yes. Uh, it wasn't meant to be because we were going to try and see if, if some people could channel or that kind of thing. It was more so like a channel. workshop, a class. Yeah, but, workshop. Uh, class, yeah. So, so it's not broadcasted at all, not recorded? It's, it wasn't meant to be, okay. no. It's, um, so that people will feel comfortable um, yeah, for for them to, you know, because you do do strange things when you try and chat. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> of course. So, there are, so those people who want to be part of that, uh, the, you could take a couple more. No, 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 no the, for the future, how do they subscribe? 
for the um, future announcement. I, I posted it, and I, 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 at every webinar I would mention it. Whenever we would do hangouts, I would mention it. Uh, I, I really announced it and was telling everybody about it. Yes, so so the way to subscribe is to contact you or to comment in your announcement, right? Right, yes. Uh -huh. And, and okay. I make it a point to to tell and announce it and write it on the site when we're talking. Yes. So it was, yeah. I actually had a hard time at the beginning. Nobody was saying yes to me. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, it's okay. usual, it's usual. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. It's okay. But it's okay. We're, but if we're you really that. want one, I'll, I'll be there for you. Yeah. Yes. Uh, now, I think if if you do want to watch, um, you could. I I don't know. Oh, if you can do it, it. You could then do private watching, right? I don't know. Can you? Do yes. That? Yes. There is a link when you start. Who is who is going to start it? Uh, Gabriel or well, you? Gabriel. Oh, Gabriel. So when do you start? Oh, so anybody who wants to watch, but it wouldn't, it wouldn't be broadcasted, but Gabriel can share with you private link to watch. So ask Gabriel and he will give you a link. Right. So it would be recorded, but you can watch it live. By satellite. Can you? <laughs> Oops. No, it's not technically possible. Sorry. Oh, okay. Forget it. Not technically possible. Okay. Either, I mean, it is possible, but it's tricky. So at the moment, it's not set up. Yeah, so we'll do it next it's time. a very private thing, yeah, only for for people who who are paying and participating. <laughs> so if you want to that do it, idea, so when you when you if you want to be part of it, uh, subscribe for the next sessions and uh, it would be easy. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like okay. I said, just take it. Yes. Yeah. So we'll we'll next time we'll get the kinks out of it, um, and. The thing is, we have to ask the participants if you know they're they're okay. Right. Because you know you do this, you do that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what you're supposed to do. You have to jerk, jerk. You know, you do. Like like Bashar. I mean. Like Bashar. Like Bashar. Yeah. Like 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 how do you, I mean? It's really hard, but. I know. But yeah. it is the first public school of channeling ever, 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 right? Yeah. I don't think there is anything like that anywhere. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah. I hope I'm able to help too. Yeah, I really. You, yeah, you will. Oh, and and Roxy's also. Oh, uh, Rod and Roxy's going to help too. Ah. So yeah. that's wonderful. Yeah. So you'll have two teachers. Yes. I should split the money with her. <laughs> <laughs> Few people started channeling with me: Jim, mm -hmm. Anik, Sabrina, and I tried a few others, but a few others didn't open up. But at least three were starting. To channel with me, yes, 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 yes. and uh, Jaguar's channeling now. Yeah. Oh, Jaguar also. He was not with me, but he just started channeling on the webinar. Yeah, yes. he came started, and started. He just went like, oops. And I think others are doing <laughs> like, some channeling like too. You just turn on the, the light switch, and that was it. Yes. Yeah. That, uh -huh. That's how it came. And to it, I think Ellie, Ellie is sometimes channeling Liney sometimes, and Dan sometimes, and. Uh, Pegasus all the time. Pegasus channels. Yes, yes. Um, um, a lot. Oh, Zinzanida channeled one time. Uh -huh. Yes, so it's really you cool. Mary, 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 Mary and Frantisha. Frantisha. And Mary also. And yesterday we got a new member who is uh, like channeling lots of different... Whom? He's on the site. I don't remember the name. Is it... Um, I don't remember the name. Sorry. Okay. I know who it is. It's... Um, I told you the name. Um, Ever. Yes. Kalos. Oh, Colt. Yes, I'm talking about. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah. I have many, 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 many on my uh, website, on my Skype, and on my phone. I have many messages from him. Oh, okay. I lost my mom. Ether. Effie. 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 K H A S. Uh -huh. K H A L E Ether Koss. That's who it is. Yes. And it's time to close up. Okay. Um, how do we? Uh, you, last time we did great. You did Arcturian and Jim translated. It was yeah. one, and then Jim, Jim said, you know, Arcturians know how to do a blessing, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, they yes, certainly yes. do. I, I mean, do. really. I know. I was telling Jim that I that I, that I tell my boys, you won't believe. 
the Who's blessing the that I did today. I wish Where'd I knew go? what I was saying. Okay. I will find it later. I'll find it later. It's just gone. I'll find it okay. Later. okay. Alrighty. Go ahead. It's a blessing. Um. Tikitu hu shiatana nakataka ha. Hu sakatini ki. Ti yukuti ala katana nakata. Tu wala nana. Ta siatana na. Tu wala ka. Ti yukuto nono. Tu yati. Ti kiatana nakata. Ha sakati. Tilingi ki. Tu wala kiata kataka. O sakatanana, hai ki utu kutua, takatani, ti yukutu kutu, ha sakati, tokono kotoko, hali yukutu saka, tu yutu kutu, o lani yukutu, oskutuku, ha taka, to yigi, ha nakatukutuku. Your joy is like a wind that comes all through you, in you and out of you. Make sure you share it. Make sure you do not bottle it up, because joy is always best shared. And when you feel your joy flowing like a wind through your body, flowing like a wind through the room even, because joy is something you can transport and take with you and bring to others and share among even the things that do not move or speak or talk. Your plants, your animals, and everything will know when your joy is real because they will grow and flourish and be as happy as you are. And then once you have shared your joy, your enlightenment will come up within you and be part of the universe, will be part of the atmosphere, will be part of the way you live your lives. Thank you. That was beautiful. <laughs> I'm always impressed. <laughs> go, go, Sabrina, go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll go. <laughs> All right. Goodbye. Okay. Have a great day, everybody. Great. With much Goodbye. love. I, I, good. Thank you. Unconditional love. love to Curry all. Chin. Yes. Curry chin. Bye bye. bye. I should, I should put my flight ticket now. Gabriel, Mary. All right, and our viewers. Yeah, bye, bye, Sean. Bye, Sean. Much love. Bye bye. Everybody. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.